I've had an opportunity to work with Roberto on a couple of projects and I've been very impressed. Uh, specifically, we worked on the Centro de Artes and on the Alameda project. Those to me are very near and dear to my heart because those are very important buildings for facilities for the Mexican-American community as well as the community at large. Um, they're important because of their history and, and I think Roberto has really understood that so he's been about that historical preservation, but also about the arts. How do you um, incorporate the arts into those facilities? Um, I think that Roberto, through his starting of the um, awards for the arts, has really been uh, a great thing that he's done because he's recognized people throughout the community that have contributed significantly to the arts, like Araneta Pierce and Maria de Leon at uh, NALAC, National Association of Latino Arts and Culture. Um, and so that whole effort took quite, a, quite several months and Roberto called people together, he was there, uh, he, he set up different focus groups and meetings, uh, he got a lot of community input about what should be done uh, and I was very impressed with that, a lot of follow through. The other thing has been the uh, Under One Roof project, which to me is, is extremely important. Um, Roberto, because he is an architect, found a solution to uh, being able to help the elderly and disabled to put on a white roof, which then reflects the heat back and keeps the house um, several degrees, 20 plus degrees cooler. Now, that's a biggie for elderly who no longer have um, income, uh, who are supporting themselves on uh, a fixed income, because we know that many seniors um, want to stay in place. They want to live their life out in their own homes and are in the places that they, the neighborhoods they've grown up in. Uh, and two of the things that impact that one is the physical disability um, and health cost. But the other is the cost of maintaining a home um, and retrofitting a home. So what the white, the white roofs, the under one roof does is that it preserves and maintains that home and keeps it safe from mildew and uh, rot and all of that kind of stuff. And also then cuts the cost of utilities for seniors. Those are two very important things to me and to many seniors. Because Roberto is an architect, he, he's able to approach problems in a very organized fashion and to try to come up with solutions. Uh, he, his district is very diverse and it's a very important area because it is the core and foundation of our city. Um, and so I'm hopeful that in the future, um, at least one, right now, at least one council member has uh, adopted the under one roof for his uh, district. I hope that others will. Um, but I hope too that we will be able to continue see, to see Roberto serve the community and come up with other innovative ideas to help um, those who are in need of help and to preserve the history of our city.